to their wedding ceremony on this New Year's Eve under the lights and under the stars. It is here in this humble outside clearing that we take ourselves out of the routine of daily living to witness the unique moment in the lives of the bride and groom. They will join their lives in the union of marriage tonight. To all the guests that are happy to share this moment with you, a good number of you have traveled a great distance for such a witness. Western and Lori, thank you for taking this time to be here with them on this day. And this start a big journey into a new year and into a new life together. They have known most of you for several years. You have watched them grow up. You have went to school with them. You have shared their friendship with them. Because you are the ones that have supported them and have known them so well, it is only fitting that you are the ones to share this once-in-a-lifetime moment with them. It was nearly half a decade ago that Weston and Lori found each other among 8.4 million people in New York. <laughs> Some of you were here, were there, witness to that first summer together. Lori from the East Coast, Weston from the West Coast. Now how can that work out? <laughs> but over the course of that fall, as Weston returned to Los Angeles, they found ways to connect, ways to grow together, despite the distance. In that year and a half apart, they cultivated a friendship over emails and phone calls, and a loving relationship after long flights with tedious layovers, evolving into an enduring affection for one another under a Venice sky and New York lights. With all of you cheering them on, true friends on countless double dates, loving neighbors, family at home, and family following across the country, all of us have rejoiced in their growing love and are here today to listen to a sacred promise. A promise to have, to hold, to cherish, and to devote a lifetime to each other. This is your promise. This is your day. I've had the pleasure during these past years of witnessing that transformation of friendship between Lori and Weston into true love. I've enjoyed many family times together with them and have seen both of them in their well-planned moments. We very much enjoyed our Sunday brunches where we always had a sample of Lori's new creations of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> to the time of the well-planned but not too well-executed dance move from Dirty Dancing, <laughs> where Weston changed the choreography Utterly state of confusion for Lori, which we seldom see. I could go on with other such anecdotes, however, suffice to say I'm honored to have been given the chance to conduct this ceremony this evening. I just hope I don't forget my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Being the elder statesman of our clan, I'm expected to have the wisdom to provide the recipe and the ingredients to a happy and a lasting marriage. Well, even though I have the mileage, I might not have all the answers, but I can give you some insight, hopefully, that will help you on your road to obtaining happiness and a continued optimistic outlook on your future. You see, it is the little things that matter and are needed to keep a love and the mutual respect that is so definitely needed to endure the inevitable challenges to be dealt with as you move forward in a married life. It's the fleeting touch as you pass each other when moving through the house. A simple bouquet of flowers for no special occasion and frequently. <laughs> Making sure that that hug lasts longer than three seconds and don't use the patented three tap technique or release. <laughs> Always make eye contact during any conversation, and always, always put down the cloth. <laughs> the mind these acts of saying I love you at least once a day, and always the last words when you're ready for sleep. Having the capacity to really forgive and forget being ready and able to stand to face the world together, work on creating an atmosphere 
wherein you both can grow within your own rights, and most importantly, at no time take the other for granted. These are some of the things that will help you and bless you with a life of happiness and a home of your own <coughs> understanding. May your marriage always be blessed for the following one and the following two. Weston and Lori have chosen to speak from their hearts as they declare their commitment to each other. And now I'll ask you to declare your marriage vows. Lori, you may proceed. treat you kindly and with patience. You are going to make an amazing father, an amazing husband, and the best grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud to know and love you, and I am still in awe that you want to spend the rest of your life with me. I will always try to make coming home the best part of your day because you are everything and you always will be. <laughs> Lesson. Most of us have. The idea of love that we've been told is a fantasy. It doesn't really exist that way. To paraphrase W. Somerset Mom, we are not the same persons this year as last, nor are those we love. There's a happy chance if we change, continue to love a changed person. And that's what love is. It's not only passion, but passion endured. It's waking up every morning and saying, yes, I choose you. You are my heart. You are my everlasting soul. You are the ache in my side with the medicine to my lips. Love is the break, the resetting of the bone, the power of healing despite the pains that may come. It is the tender affection for ailment and restless vigor for a happy future. And I want that. I want you. And in this moment, and in every moment, henceforth, because I love you more than any word or phrase which can be said before friends or family here. Until my very last breath on this earth, I do. I forever do. Dear Jerker. <laughs> Your wedding rings are outward and this is a sign of the inward and invisible bond which unite you and love. Eric, please give Lori's ring to us. Lesson, please place the ring on Lori's finger and repeat after me. I, Weston. I, Weston. Take Lori. <laughs> Take glory. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. Build our dreams together. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Plus yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That's right. Lori. 
Eric, would you please give Lori Weston? Lori, please place the ring on Weston's finger and repeat after me. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Weston. Thank you, Weston. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with yours. Build our dreams together. Build our dreams together. Support you through times of trouble. Support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. If this is true, say I do. I do. For the power vested in me by the state of California, and now pronounce you man and wife. Woo!